Hi folks, welcome back to the Horde. And kind of cloudy today. Didn't think my batteries would be charged up. I got a, um, a couple of videos I, I have to make. Um, let's start off with the 200 ES. I was asked a few questions about the electrical system on this thing. And the person who has one said, yeah, mine has a round plug, and so does mine. Check it out. This is a 1984. Harvey sprung his knee, so you're going to hear some, uh, some groaning and grunting as I move about. So anyway, um, the best way to troubleshoot these things, this is for a 1984, right? And if you look at your plug, right, because everything in the world is according to your CDI. If your CDI isn't happy, your bike just ain't going to run. So take your CDI out, right, pull it out, right, it's out, and now you look at the plug. And when you hook one of your ohm meter wires to ground, which is body frame, hook it to body frame okay so when you hook it to body frame which is um, that's one side of your meter the other side you should go right to your dark green and when you do that you should get as low ohms as possible I mean I think I got like two ohms the closer you are to zero the better you better at least be in single digits. Um, by the way, zero your meter out. Uh, some meters, the lowest they'll go, especially the digital ones, is one or two ohms. So anyway, so dark green to ground, right? Uh, dark green, ground. You should get somewhere around two ohms. Uh, then you just check all the other wires, right? So red black, which is the stator, is 115 ohms. Yellow black is the coil, 3.2 ohms. Dark green, I told you, some should be around 2 ohms. Um, blue yellow, right? That's your pulse generator. They have uh, 315 ohms. That's that's a little a little high. That that's the old old fashioned version. A lot of the um, the newer ones are, are much lower than that, right? Like this guy, right? Blue, yellow to ground is only 30. So, and this, and that's for another big red. So, I would expect it to be a little lower. I actually measured this on one of my bikes. So, um, green, red, which is your neutral. Um, it should be opened circuit, so infinite resistance if you're in neutral, and about 10 ohms if you're in first gear. And black-white is off when grounded, so when it's off, it should be, you, you know, somewhere, or, or when, when the bike is is on the on condition, when you, when you have it turned on so that you can go, right? Oh, this is the one with the screwed up switch. So anyway, if you have it on, you see my fingers here, right in the center, you should um, be somewhere around infinity, right? I keep going from, uh, yeah, so somewhere around infinity. And when you turn it off, which is grounded, somewhere around 23 ohms, the closer to zero, the better. So anyway, there's what you want to see. I got all these bees bothering me today. I'm going to have to go on one of my rampages and whack all their nests. Uh, so there you go. All right, let me put this whole little chart up here for you. Let you read it. And uh, please ask questions about uh, CDI units. The small ones, like this is off of a 200S. This is off of a, a China bike. Normally the smaller they are, the less advanced they have. Normally as you're starting to get bigger, like 
this is off a pit bike, this has an advance. So if you get them small, they don't have an advance. Now your, your situation, if you buy a pit bike ignition with all those parts, the plug and the coil and all that stuff I told you to get, you're going to get one about this size. If you look up um, ATV, um, yeah, if you look up ATV, um, and you start looking at the pictures, you try to get them, once again, as small as possible. Just from a point of view, I can about hide this with my thumb, right? Now, I have pretty fat thumbs, but, right, I mean, I can, I can more or less hide this CDI with my thumb, just to tell you how, how big it is. So normally the small ones. Uh, from a wiring point of view, if you have a you know round plug like this, you could go with a square plug, but you got to decode it, and then you got to um, you got to wire it according to this, right? Dark green is ground. Black and white is the on and off switch. Black or black and red is the stator. Black and yellow goes to your ignition coil. Uh, that one there is a no connect. And blue and yellow goes to your, your coil. And if you're looking at your ignition, right, as you plug it in, you're, this is as you're looking at the jack, right? So as you look at the jack, it would, I mean, this you're looking at the wrong thing here it would actually be backwards right because this plugs into the jack but if you're looking at the jack right this would plug right into it just like that so this is from the jack point of view and that's how you want to wire it so anyway I hope some of this helps that's a bunch of ohm readings if you're looking at a 200s so any questions get back to me so 1984 ignition. I could have sworn these had square plugs on them, but you're, you're right. And the reason why they're a little bigger is because of the, um, so you don't start it up in first gear. Right, if you put it into first or you put it into reverse, it won't let you um, start. It's, it's, a, it's a kill for the ignition. So you don't fire it up and go crazy and run yourself off. Um, if you put a non um, 200 ES ignition in there you're going to lose that feature by the way so just beware that try not to start it in first gear. I personally consider these three wheelers right you really can't buy them well forget really can't you cannot buy these anymore especially you can't get them new because too many people were killing themselves on them there was some uh, stupidity involved with people getting hurt, and there was some alcohol involved with people getting hurt, and there was some people going too far with them, which led to people getting hurt, right? And also, of course, some amateurism, right? If you don't know what you're doing, you get on there, you go crazy, and next thing you know, you wound it. So, um, inherently dangerous, no, but uh, inherently safe, I wouldn't go yes, either, um, so given that, whether or not you bypass the start when it's in gear or not, or, you know, start and reverse or all that kind of stuff, right? You're already out on a limb driving a three-wheeler, so might as well go the rest of the way out on the limb. Anyway, folks, get your bike started. I want to thank you all for watching and commenting and subscribing. Remember to keep your feet down, keep your head up, and get out there and enjoy all your days. Take care now, folks. Bye.